Now, I'm, I'm not sure how they barbecue out there because it's like, you know, grilling your own mascot, but it does happen. Like, I, yeah, no grill elephant for me. I, I couldn't do it. Well, you've been to quite a few tailgates around the SEC, right? I've been to one or two or a thousand, yeah. Okay. Without mentioning Alabama, <laughs> who would you say has the best tailgate experience in the SEC? Oh, come on, man. Oh, we got to get them in here at some point. All right. Uh, at number 10, I would say Kentucky. Uh, I know a lot of people only think of basketball when you think about Lexington. But no, man, you should definitely get up there to the Bluegrass State and tailgate with these folks during football season. You got to trust me on this. They know what they're doing. They love their school. And yeah, they will talk basketball out there, but it's a great football atmosphere. What about number nine? Number nine for me, I would say Arkansas. Now, I'm not sure how they barbecue out there because it's like, you know, grilling your own mascot, but it does happen. Like, I, yeah, no grill elephant for me. I, I couldn't do it. Who was in the number eight spot? In the number eight spot, uh, rivalry aside, I would have to give it to Auburn. Uh, I'm gonna get in a bit of a doubt and say that, you know, they do save a lot of their energy for the game, but the tailgate, they're real nice, they're pleasant, they invite you over to eat, they make sure you're taken care of, and then they go inside and they cuss you out. So I, I can respect that. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be invited back there soon. That's right? it. Number seven. Number seven, uh, tailgating, I would have to say Texas A&M. Texas A&M, man, that's a really nice campus, so you're not allowed to get like real, real crazy, but you know, they got everything all organized and clean and and just pretty when you're walking around, but they, they, they turn up just a little bit, so I give it to Texas A&M. At number six, I have to give it to the good folks of Gainesville, man. Florida, they know how to do it right. Like, it's literally just a big party all day down there. Like, they you, you get down there outside of the swamp and walking around the areas. They got it going, man. So shout out to the University of Florida and their fans. At number five, I had to give it to Tennessee, man. Now, this is the one school when you at their tailgate or you on campus, there's no doubt about where you are. Everything is orange, bro. Like the t-shirts, the pom-poms, uh, the, the pants, the shoes, the boats, the streets, the cones, everything is orange. Like it's oranged out, but you know, they, they do it well and they love their school. So shout out to Tennessee. Count down the best tailgating experiences in the SEC. Who makes the top four? Ah, my top four. Top four. It's going to be a little tough for that. Number four, I would say LSU, Bayou Bengals. Uh, it's definitely an out-of-this-world experience. Uh, out there tailgating with them. They have a lot of different uh, Louisiana dishes. I think... I would probably put them higher, but the food is so good at their tailgates. I'm usually sleepy by the time I get inside the stadium. So LSU, I put y'all solidly at number four. Number three, uh, one of my favorite places to visit and tailgate, Mississippi State. If you are a true blue fan of the SEC, at some point you got to make that trip down 82, go party with the Bulldogs, in Starkville. Just trust me on this. I'm telling you. You got to visit the Cotton District. You got to do everything. You got to you got to visit the pun out front. You just got to go party with the Bulldogs, man. Trust me. They're number three for a reason. Uh, the number two spot, this, this school here last year, man, they earned all of my respect. I saw them tailgate from 7 a.m. up until kickoff for a night game, and I'm not exaggerating. Georgia Bulldogs, the city of Athens, y'all have my full respect. I know I put you at the number two, so it doesn't seem like it, but trust me, I respect how y'all tailgate. So much great tailgating in the SEC. So much. You down to the final spot. Who you got? <laughs> Come on, man. If you're a real fan of the SEC, you, it's the Grove, man. Ole Miss. Nothing is topping the Grove, bro. They don't call it the Grove for nothing. It's a legendary place. You just got to go experience it. I experienced it one time years ago, and I've been back several times since. It doesn't even matter if Bama is playing. I'll just make that short drive from Birmingham over to Oxford. 
just to tailgate on the Grove, bro. You got, you've got to tailgate at the Grove. Everybody, it's the best tailgating experience in the SEC in college football. Period. Hands down. No argument. No mascot on earth looks like him, man. He's got the beats, he's separating, he's got that body, looks like he got a real deal beer belly going on. He's just he's just a happy mascot, man. All the kids love when he come around.